this video I'm going to talk about the Bourgeois Bronzing Powder and my name is Melissa van Dijk and I'm a makeup artist and I bought the product myself as well and I'm also going to show you some swatches from different bronzers that I have in front of me just so that you know how the color looks like if this shade might be suitable for your skin tone as well. So let's start off at first with the packaging and it's a very special packaging because it looks like a chocolate palette and also on the back it looks very yummy and when you open it then you have basically a chocolate like tablet in there like a small one and it smells very like it has a very light smell of chocolate so it's very delicious now it also says on the side which is basically in french um, how you can use it and also where you can apply it and I'm also going to show you, of course, how it will look like on myself as well. So the brush that I'm going to use is this one right here, which I normally use for applying my bronzers. And I've also prepared some swatches for you so that you might like also want to see if it's too orange, maybe for your skin tone or if it's the right tone for your skin tone as well. Because I don't want that if you are getting it for yourself and if you're interested in that you're going to like look like an orange at the end so that's not what I want and I also wanted to point out that they have not many shades like two or three shades I have the shade 51 which is basically the lightest one so from there on it gets a bit deeper more orangey so the one that I've chosen for myself is the one where I thought it isn't as orange but of course it's a bronze it's not contour so it's definitely not into a grayish tone it's definitely more like warming warming up your face which makes sense of course but when it comes to my swatches which I have right here on my arm I mean I know I'm not the hero in doing swatches but basically this one right here is the bourgeois one that I've just shown you then we have the hula bronzer then we have the rimmel one which is the waterproof one and then we have the um, physician's formula one and then we have the Maybelline city bronzer one so those are all the shades and you can see how it varies from more of a cool toned one to a very orangey one to very neutral ones comparing to my skin tone of course if you are definitely a warm toned person and you're also looking a little bit more bronzed like on on your own already like naturally then you definitely would go with an orange toned bronzer but if you are kind of like pale as i am then you just want to try to avoid looking too orange at the end so with that being said i just wanted to show you the differences on how basically the undertone can like change and i have the ones also right here in front of me so we have the hula bronzer which is definitely one of the um like cool tone grayish tones one when i'm comparing it with the um bourgeois one and with the rimmel one those two are basically my favorite so far just because the tone suits me the best and i won't look orange so if i'm overdoing it just a tiny bit then it doesn't like it won't scare people because it still will look very naturally and also beautiful but if you're going in with a bronzer that's too orange and you are very fair as I am then you just want to hit the pan like very very light handed and do not overdo it as this just can go into the wrong direction so let's start off with the application so that you see how it will look like on myself now also what I wanted to point out is that I'm just missing a mirror right here which would be really handy as the packaging is already so cute and the information that they provide inside of the packaging basically they could also put it on like on the back um, just because I feel like this would also be a good size on having a mirror because most packaging like the city bronzer has like a see-through lid so it doesn't really make sense but with this one it's more like a sturdy packaging so it just could work better if there would be a mirror but it doesn't so I'm just going to take my own hand mirror and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start slowly and then I'm going to build it up so I'm just going to go into the shade and I'm going to start off with my cheek area as well so I've applied already a bit of um, like blush and highlighter and I'm just going to work it in and melting it like with the other two products so I've set already my face and the base as well and for me personally I have to admit that the bronzer itself performs well but I just feel like the shade is a bit too orange for my like for my skin tone and also how I personally would look like just because I feel like with this one 
you, you can overdo it quite quickly and then you will end up looking too orange if you are very pale. So I just wanted to avoid that. So this is where I personally always like to stick with the Physician's Formula 1 or with the Maybelline City Bronzer just because I have a bit more control and also if I'm going a bit like um, harsh into the product it won't mask my makeup just because I know it isn't too orange and it's also very suitable for my skin tone. So I'm just going slowly and I'm going to build it up and I'm basically just going towards my forehead area, cheek area with the same brush as I normally would do. So, and I'm slowly building it up. I don't want to have it too like harsh, so I also need to check it later on in the viewfinder just to see if you're also able to see it later on and that it looks even just because of the lights. Now, if you are going to do it, I highly would recommend if you are going to do it in natural lights so that you are able to see what you're going to do. But now with this one being said, like from this side, it's very light handed just because I've used like not much product. So I'm just checking it in the viewfinder and it's all right. I'm just going to build it up a bit more so that you are able to see it, but you're already seeing it right here on my forehead. And I just feel like if you are not having a lot of experience with like bronzing products, then I definitely would go with something that's a little bit more suitable for the skin tone. I mean, as I said, if you're a bit more warm toned, then you can't go wrong with this one because it will look beautiful on you. But if you're pale, then I definitely just would start slowly. And I basically also would start with the Physician's Formula 1 or with the, um, basically the City Bronzer, just because I feel like you have a bit more control with those two products. So I'm just going to like continue blending. I mean the blending itself, it's a beautiful powder. It's a bit creamy, like it's not like a creamy product. It still is a powder, but it feels very soft, very creamy. It's not too um, dry. It's not like giving you strange patches. So I'm really happy on how the bronzer performs. It's just like, depending on who you are, I mean, I can't like see it through the camera. But just keep in mind that if you are a bit paler, that you don't want to like overdo it with that bronzer right here. Also, the brush that I'm using, it's a Zoetha brush and it's the Lux Powder Finish. Um, it's a very fluffy brush and it's also a very small brush, which just makes it for me easier to apply bronzer. Of course, you could also go in with a bigger brush, but then you might be like feeling a bit like, um, like the application can be a bit trickier just because you have less control and the powder can go anywhere, but not there where you want it. So that's why I also do recommend getting a fluffy brush that's also easy to like blend and you have a little bit more control. And of course, I'm applying the bronzer on top of my cheeks, not underneath, because it is a bronzer. So keep this in mind as well. Now with the Bourjois bronzer, I have to say it smells good. It applies very nicely. It blends beautifully. It's just like I'm a bit disappointed with the, cha uh, with the, sorry, with the shade range. So I'm just going to say that if they would have like lighter shades as well, or even deeper shades as well, then I would be much more happier. Um, I mean, bourgeois, you can get it at the drugstore, it's very affordable. So what you can do is, if you aren't sure if you should get the bourgeois bronzer yourself, what I can recommend is that you're having a look at the drugstore itself and then also see the shade range as well. And if it's suitable for your skin tone, just grab it, test it out because the blending is beautiful and the packaging is gorgeous as well. But if you aren't sure if you should get it or not and you feel like you're too pale, then I definitely would go with a bronzer like the City Bronzer by Maybelline or the Physicians Formula 1 because those two are also very, like they look beautiful also on light skin tones as well. So I definitely would go with those two when it comes to my preference and also how I normally would do my makeup. This one is more like if you're on holiday and you are getting a bit more bronzed, like in my case, then I definitely would go with this one as well as you get a little bit more bronze by the sun itself, you know, so it will match with the rest. Now, when it comes to the question, if I would recommend you the Bourgeois 
bronzing powder or not, then I definitely would say that if you're definitely into the medium shade range, like skin tone shade, or you're already naturally warm toned or bronzed, then I definitely would recommend it. But if you're paler and you're more neutral or cool toned, then I definitely would recommend going in, for example, with the Maybelline City Bronzer, which I also did a review on right here if you want to check it out. And I'm in the shade Light Cool 100. And they have several light cool shades and also one um, deep warm tone shades. So you definitely will also find something for yourself. And it will warm up your face, but it definitely hasn't that orangey undertone, which can be tricky to work with. Or if you are more into a very special formula, then I also definitely would recommend you the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm in the shade Light Bronzer, which is basically the lightest one of all the shade ranges. And I've also done a review on that one as well, which you can find um, right here as well. And you can also see how it looks like when I'm applying it. And it has a very special formula. So this is also why I love this so much, because it's different from all the others. So those two are the ones that I would recommend if you're paler. Now, I like the bronzer. It performs beautifully. I just keep it very light tended and not like too much as I don't want to look like an orange. But uh, with that being said, I hope that I could also help you out with um, getting an idea of if you should get it or not, or if you were thinking about getting a bronzer or not, then I definitely like can say, check it out for yourself. And if you do buy it, have fun with it. And see that you're getting like a fluffy brush that's also easy to work with so that you have a bit more control on where you're going to apply the bronzer as well. Now that's what I want to share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!